this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to edit your images in less than 10 minutes so the tips for this tutorial you have to be using photoshop actions to speed up or fasten your skin retouching process for all your images and for those who'd love to learn about how i create my photoshop actions for skin retouching i made a tutorial about all that and i'm going to put the link for you guys right above so that you can check out and create your own actions and i forgot to introduce myself Ronix from Ronix Photography. So let's kick in and start learning or experiment, experimenting rather if at all I uh, can do skin retouching in uh, 10 minutes or below that time. So first of all I'm going to come and get my crop tool. I'm just going to crop it in a ratio of 4 to 5 and I think I'm just going to crop it in like that. Hit enter on the keyboard and zoom in and just come and get my spot healing brush tool and just clean up uh, the image just like that to remove those blemishes I'm going to come under my actions and I'm going to play my 16-bit action you can see I have a 16-bit image so you have to create your actions depending on the bit size of your images so I'm going to come I'm going to play my 16-bit image and for this case I'm going to move this radius until uh, a point where I'm losing out on the textures so I'm going to go with around 5 so at around 5 I think I'm losing out on the textures in this image hit ok and the action is going to continue playing and when it's done playing I'm going to get my mixer brush tool so settings I'm going to make sure it is a clean brush wetness is 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100 make sure sample oils is not checked or selected and come to lo the low frequency layer and when you're blending, we you blend the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone. So let me just do that quick because I don't want this tutorial to exceed around uh, 11 minutes because I want to do the retouching in uh, 10 minutes or below. And I see if at all I can be able to achieve uh, that goal in this very tutorial. So let's see. Yeah, so far so good and let me just come and blend let me turn back the black and white layer on and i even out these skin tones and usually for my full body images i prefer to only use uh, the mixer brush to even out or blend the skin tones and achieve the results i know so many of you guys have been asking me uh, how i did a uh, retouch this very series from uh, this natural light shoot that I did so this is what I did and so I'm trying to see if at all I can do the skin retouching and color grading plus the eye whitening in just 10 minutes or below and I just hope I'm still in the time frame so I just need your prayers so how I'm mixing I'm mixing the midtones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone are in this particular image to even out or blend the skin tones so just make sure you take uh, your time if at all you really do but if at all you don't have the time uh, let me see the progress so far before after so let me just come and even out the tones right here well so I'm going to zoom in and come to the arm area and I'm also going to do the same. So I'm basically going to even out the skin tones. So I have a highlight right here. I'm just going to blend that. Then come right here to uh, the elbow and I'm just going to even out the tones right on the elbow area just like that using the missile brush tool. So the wetness I'm using is a 9%. Uh, the load is 75, the mix is 90, and the flow at 100%. So I'm basically just using those settings to blend or even out the skin tones in this particular image. So I'm going to come to this other hand and I'm just going to even out uh, the skin tones. And as you're seeing, I'm not uh, evening out the highlights. I'm just trying to blend them into... Uh, the image let me just turn this off and I see uh, where I have not worked on this image just like this and I hope uh, I'm really in the time frame 
So you can see what we can do before, after, before, after in just uh, 10 minutes or below that. So just come and even here quite well. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to come to the face and just turn this back on and zoom in slightly and just even out the skin tones on the model's face just like that. So I hope you guys can see uh, what I am doing and I'm using Photoshop 2020. Uh, for those that always ask uh, the application I use. So it is Photoshop 2020. So I think I'm still in the time frame and I just hope I really make it. And I'm just trying to even out the skin tone using the mixer brush tool. And I think I would have been faster if at all I was not doing uh, the talking in this very So let's see what we have done so far. The before, after, before, after. And we still have the original details in this very image. So I think we are done doing the skin retouching. So let's do a little bit of uh, dodging and burning to this image. I'm going to select the black and red and delete it. Then since I want to only emphasize the highlights, I'm going to come to the curves adjustment layer and come and to select color range and make sure selection is on and uh, your quick mask is also on. Then I'm going to select the highlights in this image so I can either increase the fuzziness, hit OK. So I'm just going to move this up just like that. Then I'm going to come to the camera filter by hitting Shift or turning Command E on the keyboard and I'm going to simply come to filter and I'm going to come to camera filter to do the eye and teeth whitening for uh, this very model. So I'm just going to zoom in just like that and I'm going to do the eye and teeth whitening. Get my adjustment brush tool. I'm going to make sure I move the temperature all the way down to around 30 for this case. Uh, the tint to around uh, around 60. Uh, highlights and whites to around 3 or 4. And I'm going to move the temperatures all the way down to around 70. And I'm going to just paint over the eye to uh, whiten and add some kind of a natural feel uh, to this very image, just like that. Get my space bar and click down and move to another area that is the teeth. And the way I'm whitening the teeth, I'm basically trying to paint over each individual tooth at a time because I don't want to desaturate or remove color from the gums. Just like that. I think I'm done doing the eye and teeth whitening uh, for this very image. So what I would love to do, I want to do some little bit more of the color grading. I'm just going to come right down here and I'm going to come to the calibration option. So under this, I can simply uh, move uh, the reds to around the hues plus one and also play around with my saturation to around three. Let me go with around two. Then also my blue primary and I'm just going to move it slightly to around one. I think that is all I have to do. Then I'm going to add a little bit more of contrast to this very image, just to around three. And that is all. Hit OK and I'm basically going to come to my selective color. I'm going to intensify on the blacks in this very image to around 18 because I had lost out the details since I was shooting a natural light portrait. I think 19 is going to do for me or work for me. Let me go with 17 and come to the red channel and I'm going to uh, reduce on the magentas just like that and also reduce on the amount of yellow slightly. So basically uh, this is all for the skin retouching and I hope I've done this in less than 10 minutes. So if at all you can see the before and after, before, after, you can see the results we have been able to achieve. And this my friend is a tutorial about how you can edit in less than 10 minutes and below for high-end skin retouching. And if at all you love this tutorial, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you are watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.